Esther 4. Esther chapter 4. Yes, read now, Mama. Verse 1. Yes. Now when Mordecai learned of everything that had been done, he tore his clothes in mourning and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the center of the city and cried out loudly and bitterly. He went only as far as the king's gate because no one was to enter the king's gate dressed in sackcloth. In each and every province that the decree and law of the king reached, there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping and wailing, and many lay on sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's maids and her eunuchs came and told her what had happened, the queen was seized by great fear. She sent garments to clothe Mordecai so that he would remove his sackcloth, but he did not accept them. Then Esther summoned Hattak, one of the king's eunuchs, whom the king had appointed to attend her, and ordered him to go to Mordecai to find out what this issue was and why it had come about. So Hattak went out, of, out to Mordecai in the open square of the city, which was in front of the king's gate. Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him, an exact amount of money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the destruction of the Jews. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If we read from Esther chapter 2, from verse 1, from verse 1, you'll find that there was a woman called Vashti. She was the wife of the king. Because today I want to talk about God's plan in your life. Because you don't know that whatever that is happening is God's plan in your life. In your life. So Vashiti was the wife of a king. But that time when a king make orders, those orders must be performed. But now Vashiti, when they were beginning to drink, the king knew Vashiti was beautiful. When Esther was found, the Bible says when she was brought in the house, there was the enemy of the Israelites. Are you hearing me? There was the enemy of what? Of the Israelites. And his name was what? Haman. He was there. He wanted the whole Israelites to be destroyed. Not to be slaves, but mm. to be destroyed. You must know that your enemy wants you to be destroyed. He doesn't want you to be a slave. He wants you to be destroyed. And the Bible says, when Esther was brought, when she was there, when she was inside the king's house, the petition went out to the whole kingdom that the Israelites must be destroyed. I'm sure you're hearing me. When that petition went out, it has reached a man called Mordecai. Mordecai was a, like a parent to Esther. We can call Mordecai as a, 
But the Bible says when Mordecai found that he found revelation. He went to Esther and said, I want to see Esther. It was impossible to enter in the yard of the, the king. He was he was at the gate. Gating. And the Bible says, Esther, when she saw Esther that mona. he was at the gate, he, he, she sent clothes. A, a di kubo, di she sent things to him a to satisfy him. But the Bible says Mara, iri Bible it was not rena. the time of satisfying. Here there's issue of destroying. There's no issue of pleasing. So he knew that he never wanted anything from Esther. But there's some words that Esther said Mara, una le Esther that please allow Mordecai to go. Marotekai way at Amaya. Allow Mordecai to go. If he can go here, it will be fine. Haka silipe sipilo taluka. Mordecai at Alimanchu. As Esther must Ari never Esther think. Away, when Nana Kunahane, she must never think. As Kaba Nahana Esther, that she's there. Or a umo huntungia hoshi. Or am petty cool. She's one. there to enjoy. Umo hutaipsina kabupi. The calamity that will fall in. Din to jetty to well and what you want Israel kamuka. Also fall. Dito she need to do something. She must know that this is the time of God's plan. God allowed it that she entered the kingdom in this time. She's not in the kingdom just to be there. It is the plan of God that the Israelites Listen to this. You are in the kingdom because destroyer is turning around. It's not for yourself, even other people. But I want to show you from the verse that I want us to read verse 14. Yes, Esther 4, verse 14. Esther chapter 4 verse 14. Yes. It says, uh -huh. For if you remain silent at this time, yes. liberation and rescue will arise from, for the Jews from another place. Listen, here, Mordecai was telling Esther that this is not the time yes. of keeping quiet. Because it's God's plan. God wants to use you to bring deliverance to our people. If you remain silent, still God will search another plan. God will do another plan. Because you are here in God's plan. But if you remain Remain silent, our God will do another plan and deliverance will still come. When I was reading this, I began to understand that God put us in a place and it becomes his purpose. He pursued it. He set it. it. He organized it. He fixed it. And he knows very well that at the end there will be a solution. Right now, many of you here you have got a lot of problems. You are facing a lot. But I'm here to tell you it is God's plan in your life. I'm here to tell you it's God's plan in your life. God allowed you to be born in that family to face what you are facing. Listen, don't be silent. 
Don't be silent. You need to go to the king. You need to go to the king. Today we have the king. We have Jehovah. We go and approach him. And say, hey Lord. I'm saved on this time. I cannot allow the destroyer. To carry on destroying. Because I have come. In this kingdom. For such a purpose. There's a purpose. That God has set for you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Just say, my friend. There's a purpose. You are not just saying. It is God's there is something you are about to do and this thing that you are about to do God use his plan and brought you where you are right now you are here in Charis listen to this don't be silent this time do what you can do because soon God's plan will be fulfilled it in your life. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. 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 Shake somebody and say, hey, my friend, you are in God's plan and God will never and allow you, you will never allow you to leave this church until something must happen in your life. Shake somebody and say, hey, when God give you mercy, he fulfill his plan. Listen, God Plan are not your plan. Even his thoughts are not your thoughts. His ways are not your ways. He's is about to do something. When I look at you, I see God's plan. I see God's plan. I see God's plan. There was something that I want to tell you that, 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 that has happened to me. I didn't understand my calling. I just wanted to follow God. I become different with other pastors. Who were crying to be a prophet. Who were crying to be an apostle. But what I wanted was the will of God must happen in my life. I will just follow and follow and follow. And I told my wife that as much as I'm following him, he is aware. Because I understand I'm not just doing what I I'm doing. I, this is God's plan. It's the purpose of God that I become a pastor in this time. At the moment when I found it and I discovered that, God began to discover my calling. I don't know if you're hearing me. He began to discover my calling. Listen, if it is God's plan, you will discover your purpose. You will discover your calling. You will understand your career. You will understand why you are there. You will understand why you were born there. You are not born in a poor family to die poor. It is a ghost plan that you must be born in a family that does not understand you. If you don't hear me, say, if you don't hear me this time, I'm here to tell you again, you are not born in the family to face what you are facing for nothing. What you are facing, it is a God's plan for you to be different from anybody in your family. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. I, I was reading this, this scripture. I was shocked because I always read this. Romans 8, verse 28. Can you read that scripture? This scripture, I've read it, you have read it. But I found God's plan in this scripture. Read, Mama, verse 28. Verse 28. Verse 28. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. It says, and we know, we know with great confidence uh, that God who is deeply concerned about us. Did you hear that? Amen. God is deeply concerned about uh -huh. us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Causes all things to work together as a plan for that? good. Read it again, that thing. It says, causes 
all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God. I, I want to tell you something. Sometimes when God is searching for you, he doesn't search for you with good things. I don't know if you're hearing me. He, does, he, he allowed bad things to happen. Let's take mm. your, your beautiful woman. When, when you walk here, How even the birds see, and the cows mm. look at you, I say, where do you come from? Are you hearing that? When you look around here, everybody is attracted. Attention is on you. But listen, God knows that he wants to give you a marriage. He understands that that attention, the best singing, are not marriage. You have to end somewhere. But he has to destroy the praises that you are receiving so that you become what he wants you to be. God is having a plan to squeeze you if he wants to take you to a place where he wants you to be. There will be a time when you pass, you question why the cow now want to destroy you. The birds are quiet. And you ask yourself, what has happened? You know, God will allow the brother, a stupid brother, who's having money to come your way and act like he wants to marry you. And when he gives you one child, the moment he just gives you one child, senses start to enter in your mind. I don't know if you're hearing me. Eh? And that one child is God's plan. Because now you cannot walk alone. When you are walking, the child will hold the dress. And lift up the dress. Now you hold your dress back. Your, your focus has been taken. Because to that child and and you start to look that you have got responsibility than to take other people's attention. Listen, God wants to deal with you. To a destiny that everybody will say you are right. You don't need to look at the praises that you are given by people or the things around you. But you look at where God is taking you. I thank God you were squeezed. I thank God you have got a challenge. I thank God you have got everything you are facing. But I'm here to tell you that is the plan of God. Don't look at that challenge. It works for good. I say it works for good. I don't know if you are hearing me. Many people are very rich. They were poor. They had nothing. And God uses that poverty to restructure their minds. I don't know if you hear me. If you get things in a wrong way and you carry on getting, you become successful. Soon you will be cut But God will allow you to face some challenges that teaches you. And now, those challenges so the challenge add the more years also to your life. Shake somebody say, my friend, what you are facing is not a shame. It's a God's plan. Don't look at what you are facing. Someone is speaking against you. Someone, when he looks at you, he is gossiping you. But I'm here to tell you, hey, it was God's plan. It was God's plan. 
right now you can stand up and stand with confidence that God who took you from the shame of the past has established you in the destiny you desire. Let me prophesy someone here. I can see that your future is bright. I can see your future is bright. Whatever you are facing is for good. I say whatever you are facing is for good. Can you check somebody and say, whatever you are facing is for good. Stop crying. Rise up. Face ahead where God is taking you. If you are hearing me shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear what I'm trying to say. If it is God's plan, oh my God, something is about to happen in your life. I don't care whether you have lost a car. I don't care whether you are rejected by the family. I don't care whether you look like nothing. But my God is about to do a new thing. If you are hearing me shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When God wants to do a new thing, you know what he does? That's about here. He will allow you to lose what you love. So that you come up with something that will be celebrated by everyone. There is something that is on your way that will make you a celebrity. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's go back to the scriptures. Because I don't want to run to here. I just... In Psalm 33, verse 11, verse 11, read. I'm not here to run to you. I'm here to tell you that you go back now. You go back. There is something that God wants to do for you. Can you read that verse 11? Psalm 33, 11. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts and plans of His heart. Through all generations, blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the nation whose God is the Lord. Are you hearing that? Mm. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. Counsel, uba di taba chamo di mo di e ma uya wile. God's plan stand forever. Plan e mo di mo e ma uya wile. God's plan stands forever. When God speaks, His plan shall be established. There are some people here, they are asking themselves, is it possible? As a God's plan will stand forever. When God says, you will be something. No one can stop that. If God say you will lead, God have got a way. Even when you can be oppressed or suppressed, you will emerge. You know, I see you. I see you like, like a ball. In the swimming pool. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Like a ball in the swimming pool. When, when someone there take the ball inside the water, you can press it there. But God's plan about the ball, there is something. That is inside that ball. There's air inside that ball. That ball, because of the air inside, will go back to his ball. I don't know if you are hearing me. You, you cannot press someone who has got the Holy Spirit here. There's a spirit inside the ball. Even if you can be oppressed, even if it can be blocked, God's plan, it says you are the head, you are not the tail, you are the head, you are not the tail, you are the face, 
last. You are not the last. If you are here, we shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When I read that verse, I was excited. Carry on reading verse 12. Yes. Revelation 12. Blessed, uh -huh. meaning fortunate, uh -huh. prosperous, and favored by God is the nation whose God is the Lord. Are you the that? people. You are so blessed. Because now you know when your God speaks, something has changed. Which is really challenging. And you know, I've been not sleeping. Not sleeping. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. And now I have to scream. And if you can hear my voice. When, when, when God begins positioning Positionally where he's taking it. When he began to understand what his voice says about that he is God of prosperity. God of prosperity. God who looks after you. He won't worry about the present time. He won't worry about where you are. He will look beyond where you are going. He will see the next five minutes. He will see the next five minutes. If you begin to understand how can Toma Kushisha? You will understand everything. Even the problem you have. Even the challenge you have. It's taking you there. I see you going there. I see you going there. Listen, allow people to talk against you. Allow people to talk about you. Allow people to oppose you. Listen, if you are dead, you cannot be opposed. But because you are going somewhere, there is a challenge. Let me prophesy. This is the year that you will see your opponents. They will bow before you. I said they will bow before you. They are about to bow. They will worship your God. I said they will worship your God. I said they will worship your God. I said they will worship your God. This is a time. That God's plan will be fulfilled in your life. You are about to shine in your life. You are about to rise up to reach your destiny. You are about to take up what belongs to you. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. Read again 12. Blessed, uh -huh. meaning fortunate, yes. prosperous, and favored by God, yes. is the nation whose God is the Lord. Mm -hmm. God, whose God, Lord is whose God is the Lord. Yes. The people whom He has chosen as His own inheritance. Can you read continuing? Yeah. The Lord looks down from yes. heaven. He sees all the sons of men. Mm. From the dwelling place, he looks closely upon, upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all, who considers and understands all that they do. Can you hear that verse? The Lord looks down. And look at the people he created. He fashions their hearts. He understands what they do. Lord God already has predestined us. We are not lost. We are in his purpose right now. When you are behaving, he says, I'm the one who created you to do that. You know, I was reading, I found that God spoke something. He said, I'm the one who hardened Pharaoh's heart. For, for Pharaoh to be hardened and behave that way, it was God's plan so that he must chase the Israelites. Sometimes 
Number you have been way. followed by the people that God has fashioned their hearts. You make them your enemies. Don't look at them. Look at where he's taking you. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are some people here. God sit down and fashion them. He look upon them. When they are misbehaving, he say yes. He say yes. Mm. I, this is my plan against my people but my people they are more than the conquerors they will always win they will be oppressed but they will win my, their enemies will gather together as their own plan and come one way but my plan will make them to scatter it is my plan. I allow them to come one way. It is my plan again that I will scatter them. I have got power to destroy them. It is time to enjoy God's plan. Can you tell three people to say, hey, it is time to enjoy God's plan. It is time. Enjoy. Hey, stand up and tell three people. Enjoy God's plan. Enjoy God's plan. Hey, enjoy God's plan. 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 Enjoy God's
you will be defeated with the creator. You can be so strong. And you are wrestling with someone who is weak. You can still be defeated with your strength. Why? Because God only helps those who trust him. Those who follow his plan. It's only God who will help you. I found something. Sometimes, you know, after this service, go home and ask yourself, are you in God's plan? Because you can find you are doing a very big business. But the results are even smaller than the one who is doing a small business. Because when God's plan is involved, you know, in the spiritual realm, they say, invoke. When you invoke the spirit, something must happen. I don't know if you are hearing me. God's plan, listen. God's plan is something else. If we read the scripture, I believe it's going to help us. What happened here? Proverbs 16, verse 9. Proverbs 16. Verse 9. Verse 9. Whew, it says, uh -huh. A man's mind plans his way as he journeys through life. But the Lord directs these steps and establish them. A man's mind Plan. If the Lord does not direct, your plans are fruitless. What are you planning today? If it is the Lord not directing those plans, you are in vain. What are you planning? If the Lord does not direct, you know, I will give you example. I didn't know that when I buy this land for church, by this time we'll be here. It was God's plan. I bought this land here. And two lands on the other side. I say those ones will be for visitors. And this one will be the church. Look at God's plan. If it does not direct your plans, you are wasting your time. It is time now that you invite God to direct your steps on the plan you have. It takes you there. Because you can still have a plan. And you direct your steps. And you find yourself going astray from God's plan. I don't know if you are hearing me. I want God to direct my steps. I was looking at the life of Joseph. We read I said, look at God's plan. Did you see the life of Joseph? Look, look at God's plan there. A man that his brothers rejected with envy and jealousy. A young man. Do you know that Joseph was younger than them all? 
But look here when they see the Ishmaelites. After they have thrown him from the ditch. They didn't know that it was God's plan. When the Ishmaelites brought him. Ishmael and took him away. He didn't serve the Ishmaelites. When he was there. Look Potiphar. Taking him to the house. It was the Lord God who will prosper whatever he does. For the sake that he will be taken up and considered by Potiphar. It was God's plan for the wife of Potiphar to accuse him. It was not wrong. It was God's plan. If the wife of Potiphar Accusing he could not be the third in the kingdom of Egypt. I don't know if you are hearing me. Who's accusing you? Who's talking against Who's you? Talking against you? Is God's plan to take you higher? Is God's plan to take you where you belong? Can I tell you this? If Potiphar's wife favored him, it was over with Joseph. You will be a slave who is responsible to do everything in the house of Potiphar. But that was not his destiny. He was forced from there to go to prison. Some of you are in prison now. Nothing is moving. You are in jail for two years. For years. But I'm here to tell you. God is about to open the prison doors. I see you coming I see you coming out. You have been inside the prison. Is what God put in you. Which is his plan. plan that will take you out. Yeah, I'm looking at gospel. I'm very happy for Mama. To be God's plan. To be my wife. One day I was looking at myself on the day. I said, ah, This is God's plan. A man who's like this can marry. A very beautiful wife like I say, ah, what a plan. plan. Ah, sometimes, you, my brother, you must look at yourself. You conclude. You see this woman who's close to me. I look at her and say, ah, ah. I even take out my teeth and look at her. I was afraid. Say, hey. So, Mama, she's kissing this man. No, no, Mama, she's kissing this man. No, Mama, she's kissing this man. I said, ah, oh, it's God's plan. <laughs> so, look at God's plan. Sometimes, sometimes you feel like you are there. You, you deserve, deserve it. it. Can't is plan. There are some people who are so much better than you. I said, my God. One day, Mama asked me, said, I didn't know that you have small ears like this. I said, I went on. I said, what is your plan? She said, you know, I don't know what you have to do. You are seeing it now. God's plan. God's plan. That's what I say, my friend. It is God's plan. Whatever you are seeing around you is God's plan. Allow God to fulfill it. When they are oppressing you where you are working, don't worry, it's God's plan. When they are blocking your promotion, don't worry, it's God's plan. Any delay in your life must not trouble you. Go to Him. And say, I'm saved on this time. To be in this kingdom. To bring a change. To bring a change in my family. To bring a change in my generation. If you hear me shout hallelujah. Let's stop there. Let's go